I harvested a couple of milkweed pods from our milkweed. When I collected these two pods, I didn't really have time to do this video on that day, so I just stuck some rubber bands around them so they wouldn't open up any farther. I like to wait until the pods have just started to open up, but if you wait too long, those silks will start to separate and it'll be a big mess. If you catch the pods at just the right time, collecting seeds from common milkweed is very easy to do. This technique can also be used on other types of milkweed and butterfly weed seeds too. The first thing I do is open up the pod then I reach in and try not to separate that silk if I can keep from it. I grab the end that's away from the stem. It's the pointed end. Then I keep a hold of that and try not to let it separate like I mentioned. Then I just take my thumbnail or my fingernail and scrape the seeds off. I don't worry about trying to get every last seed. I just get the ones that are easiest to get and then I go on to the next pod. One thing you should know about milkweed seeds is that they need cold stratification to germinate. So they need to be exposed to wintertime temperatures. And I think the easiest way to accomplish that is just to plant them where you want them to grow in the fall. Then they'll come up the next spring. As you can see that silky stuff can make quite a mess if you let it separate. Now that I've had a little practice I'll show you on this other pod. This is something you can get the hang of pretty quick. It only takes one or two pods and you'll be a pro at it. As you can see on this one, sometimes if you take a little more time and care, you can get the whole thing to come out in one piece without any of that silk separating. And it's a lot easier to collect the seeds when it comes out like this. Once again, you just grasp the silky part in one hand and then scrape off the seeds with your fingernail or thumbnail on your other hand. And as you can see, you get a lot of seeds in a very short amount of time. Since the seeds were inside the pod still, what I like to do is make sure they're completely dry by placing them on a paper plate or in a paper bowl like this. And I let them dry for another two weeks or so. Then I just put the seeds in a paper envelope and store them that way until I'm ready to plant. Another thing that I should mention about common milkweed is that it can be somewhat invasive. Their roots can spread in all directions and new plants can pop up six or eight feet from the mother plant. Then those new plants will do the same. So care should be taken where you plant it. If you grow common milkweed to help the monarchs or other types of milkweed, tell us about it down in the comments. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.